Can you get shocked from a neutral? Yes. No. Kinda. Let's break into it. So I see this comment a lot or like stories people share about how they got shocked when they touched the neutral conductor or the neutral wire. So what they're really saying is like they were touching something and they also touched the neutral wire because you can't get shocked by touching one thing. Current doesn't travel that way. Current's always looking for a loop, right? So like, say we've got, we got a load, we got like a light bulb right here. This is gonna symbolize a light bulb, the little filament that's inside of the light bulb. Because now we have a complete loop, current can travel. But without that, just touching one thing right here, there's no way from our source to get through anything by you just touching. Like say your arm's out here, right? Current's not gonna go through you, through your arm, and then like just jump through the air to get back over here to keep completing a circuit. That's not how it works. But if I were to touch both of these points, now through my body, there's a path, there's a complete loop. So it is between two different things, between a neutral and a hot, that I'm allowing current to flow through me for a completed circuit to happen. Another thing that happens is between two hots, right? I'm touching one hot and touching any other hot. Again, through my body, I'm completing the circuit, so I have a full loop. This is a 240 volt loop. This is the smaller loop that's 120 volts inside of it, so more pressure is gonna go through me if I'm going hot to hot. Same thing over here, this hot to neutral. Um, so you can get shocked from a neutral but it depends again, like what, what are you talking about? What two things, neutral and what else? You know, neutral and hot, neutral and ground. Sometimes if you don't have bonded uh, systems and you have a difference of potential between a neutral and a ground conductor and it's hooked up in some kind of weird way, there's a difference of potential. They're not bonded, they're not at the same potential anymore. So if between neutral and ground, there is some kind of difference of potential and current can flow, it will flow and that will flow through you and you can get shocked. But you can't just touch neutral and get shocked. Now, how neutrals are set up and where they're set up and where you're touching a neutral and all of that, you can get shocked touching a neutral. Um, and a lot of people will touch like two neutrals and they'll get shocked between them. And that's kind of the weird thing. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. A neutral's a neutral, right? They should all be bonded and all be touching each other. They should be the same one piece of metal. So why between one neutral and another neutral am I getting shocked? That's something worth looking at. So let's say that we've got a light bulb right here. We're on the bottom of the screw shell of the light bulb and we've got the light bulb filament. And then off the screw shell, we have a white. So what we have in a situation like this is your hot always goes to the bottom of the light bulb. That little like point on the bottom of the light bulb is where your hot gets connected to. Through there, it actually is the same one piece of wire that goes all the way out to the screw shell and touches to the neutral. So essentially, if you're holding the neutral that's coming off of a light bulb, it's not a neutral. It's only a neutral once it gets hooked up to the neutral that makes it back out to the service, to the, to the transformer. You just got a white part of a black wire <laughs> at this point. So this is still just the same conductor. So you have a difference of potential because you have the pushing and the pulling that's happening right here. So if you were to stand in the middle of this and touch this and touch this, yeah, you're gonna get shocked. You're completing a loop. So current's able to travel through you. You're gonna let that light bulb turn on too, probably. So uh, that that is a way that you can get shocked between two neutrals. Now, if you were to take yourself out of the equation and just connect these two together and put a wire nut on them, the light's gonna turn on, that's a complete circuit, right? But if, again, if you introduce yourself in between them, um, because this is the really just the black still, and this is the white, yeah, you can get shocked. So some people get shocked that way as well. Neutrals are kind of like a weird thing at first when you're starting to do this because you don't really understand how the systems work and how loops work. I have a really great video, check this one out if you're curious about like how circuits work and how the loop works and, voltage, current, you know, uh, wattage, resistance, how they all, how, how the whole circuit works. Um, but once you understand that you're out in the field and you're, you're like working on something and you get shocked, 
sit and evaluate. Why is that? Why did I just get shocked? And you, I guarantee every single time you're going to be like, oh, I was touching this and this, and that's why I got shocked. If I were to take, uh, you know, and introduce myself into the circuit and I was to take my fingers just literally like this and go like, boom, that current is going to travel through right here. And I'm going to get shocked from the tip to the tip of my finger. And I'm going to complete that loop. If I go from here to here, it's going to go all the way through my chest to get to that point. So where you feel a shock happen, I've, I've been leaning on things before. I actually had a, a job that I did. It was a commercial building and I was changing a 15,000 volt neon sign transformer. And I, I had my elbow on the grid and the ceiling grid was grounded. It's touching building steel. So all the metal in this building is one giant conductor. So I put one side on ground, you know, so one conductor that I was touching was ground that gave me, you know, my one hand was touching ground. And then I had another conductor over here and I had my screwdriver and I was turning a screw with my screwdriver, but I just happened to touch with my finger that screwdriver, the shaft of the screwdriver. So now I had a complete circuit leaning on this thing and using a screwdriver. So it went through me, through my arm, through the ceiling grid, through the metal building and made a completed circuit. And I got shocked and it happened through my arm, you know? So it was like, I could feel right where that started and right where it ended. I could feel like the, the entry and exit from that shock. But it's always, always, always between two points. So just always remember that. Um, it can happen if you're like kneeling on the ground and you're working on like a light pole and you got your hand inside of a light pole. If your knee is wet, the earth is a conductor. You know, if the earth is wet, especially if it's wet, um, you can you can introduce yourself to a circuit that way. So just understand like when you're messing with something, what else are you touching, right? If you're a lot of like older guys, they'll teach, put one hand in your pocket. If you're messing with something, you know, mess with it, keep one hand in your pocket, and that way your other arm, your other hand is not giving you a second point to complete a circuit with. Um, obviously that's not practical all the time, but it's between two things. So the long story, the long answer is no, you can't get shocked on a neutral, but yes, you can get shocked on a neutral. Kind of depends on where you're at, but it's always between two points. So you can shock between any two conductors.